Refraction of light. Have you observed the path of light when it enters from one medium to another in daily life? Does it move along straight line path or changes its direction? Let us observe some of our day-to-day -day experiences. For example, when a pencil, partly immersed in water, it appears to be broken at the interface of air and water. A clear pool of water always appears to be shallower than it actually is. A coin placed at the bottom of beaker containing water seems to be raised. When a thick glass slab is placed over some printed matter, the letters appear raised when viewed through the glass slab. Why does it happen? Let us understand the reason with this illustration. Let us consider a water tumbler and a pencil. When the pencil is partly immersed in water in a glass tumbler, it appears bent or broken to the observer. We know for a fact that the pencil is not bent at all. It just appears to be so. In this case, the light reaching observer from the portion of the pencil inside water seems to come from a different direction compared to the part above water. This makes the pencil appear to be displaced at the interface. Does the pencil appear to be displaced to the same extent if instead of water we use liquids like kerosene or turpentine? Will the letters appear to raise to the same height if we replace a glass slab with a transparent plastic slab? You will find that the extent of effect is different for different pair of media. These observations indicate that light does not travel in the same direction in all media. Definition When a light ray travels from one optical medium to another, it suffers a change of direction at the surface of separation of the two media. This is known as refraction. Activity Suppose we were to place a coin in a glass of water. The light bouncing off the coin under water, for instance, would have to first travel through the water and then the air to reach an observer eye. At the boundary it gets refracted and reaches the observer eye, thus appearing to be slightly raised.